Hi, I'm Osako, and I wanted to do a little tutorial on how I shade things, because I've been asked a few times on how I do it. And it's, it's not that hard, I'm just gonna get right into it. <laughs> uh, usually I kind of, I select a dark portion that's already on the page, because if you select something from, that's already on the page, it seems a lot more natural to me at least. And then use a multiply layer. And you've got to think of light sources a lot as well, because like, for me most of the time my light source comes from like about here, either here in this direction or just straight from the side, straight on. And it comes from that general direction most of the time, unless I'm doing anything else fancy like that. And so I put a dark shadow on the side that won't be lit. And I usually, I usually don't, I shade the eyes separately, so this usually doesn't count. I'll probably do something about that later. But I shade the eyes separately, so I always erase that part so it looks a bit brighter. Because the contrast always helps out a little bit. And I usually do, if I do purples or blues, I tend to do the lighting with a light blue but if it's like browns or yellows or something like that I'll do it with yellow because it seems a lot nicer and I just kind of luminosity on that and it's a bit bright so you can just turn down the... like that even if it's even if it's really low saturation that really works it still works so I do that and then I get multiply again and recently I've been using overlay a lot, but you'll still need to use multiply later if you do that because it doesn't work on lighter shades like the skin and the eyes, it, it doesn't really work on that. But if you just colour pick from here again, and then just cover the whole thing, like if I turn that off, the whole thing's covered. So if I go back onto overlay, Remember that the light's coming from about here, like this general area. So, what I would do in this case, for a picture thing again, is just kind of erase where the light would be hitting. Yeah. Like Get in here. Maybe do it a bit rougher since it's for her. So a little more detailed, but like, yeah, just kind of go in here and where the light would hit. Cover your eyes. See, it, here it doesn't really do much because it's it's light. It's it's too light for an overlay to really do anything. So I'll go over where I can. Mostly the hair and the clothes, to be honest. And the light's coming down here, so we'll go in here. Kind of comes down and it hits here. And that's kind of. That's the main gist of it. But then, what? For the, the lighter bits, you just do it again, but you only select the bits that are lighter. So like, yeah, like this, this works pretty well. Let me tone down the colour difference there. It's kind of a bit weird. Uh -huh. And so, I'm going to put the colour in on the multiply layer. And it's very dark, it's very dark. And then, just up the luminosity. No, <laughs> luminosity? Opacity, Jesus Christ. Uh, and just kind of like, Go over it and take out the bits that would need light. And then once the basic shade is done, you'd go in and get either overlay or multiply, it doesn't really matter for this stage because it goes on it goes on the darker bit and the for both. <laughs> so where the shadows would be darkest, you just kind of go in and Accentuate them a little bit. 
looks like weapons are closest to the face, or as closest to itself, even. And stuff like that. And you just kind of go over it. And this is a bit of a mess, because I'm just kind of like showing how it works. <laughs> but yeah. And then, oh, I, like, Leia Mode's are your best, best friend. <laughs> In this kind of situation, they are genuinely your best friend. What? I would do for the light is I'd go in with just either a white or a really light colour, any colour, whatever you think would look best, and just go in and overlay these. Like, you still have to think about your light source, because it's still going to be doing that, so just kind of like, where the light would hit, you do a slight rim lighting, so just along the edges. And stuff like that. It doesn't need to be everywhere, it can just be a little bit. And then for effects and stuff, like, usually I'd take the darkest from here and I'll colour the lines and all that. But I'll just kind of fill it in for this one. I'll clip and group it, and I'll just kind of go in with little bits of white where I think it would be interesting. Like, usually this doesn't fit how hair works, but my style's more of... If you've got more of a realistic style, this is not a good idea because it's cell shading and it's not entirely how things go down. But for cartoon artworks, this works the best. And yeah, I'm pretty sure that that's... If you want something that's a bit cooler, this isn't quite shading, but if you want to get a bit of light differentiation, like different colours and stuff, you can just kind of overlay a colour onto it and then make it light, and it looks a bit cooler. And just kind of finish that up by doing the same around the eye. So, yeah. So, it's not much, but it's better than nothing, I guess, and I hope it helps a little bit. Sorry for the terrible quality, I never intended to do anything like this, I just do speed paints and stuff. So, <laughs> sorry about that. But yeah, 